discussion around Australia Day, if you hadn't noticed recently, but uh, can I just affirm that today is a day when all Australians come together to celebrate our coming together as a nation and the forging of the modern contemporary Australian nation. Australia is a country that has an Indigenous inheritance. We have the oldest continuous culture of people living here, the Aboriginal people, and it's very important that we acknowledge our Indigenous inheritance. And finally, the best way to do that is to acknowledge our first people, the Aboriginal people of Australia, in our constitution. But we're also a young nation that's been forged through immigration. This country has been made through the migration of people coming here from around the world. And today's citizenship ceremony marks the 70 years since Arthur Corwell, um, of which the federal seat of Corwell is named after, who, who the seat is named after, Australia's first immigration minister, instituted the Australian Citizenship Act. And if you look at the time and the thinking of people like Arthur Corwell and the then Labor government, forging an Australian citizenship and putting it into law was, as the Mayor has said, the beginning of the Australian identity. And the first Australian citizen was Ben Chifley, the then Prime Minister, given citizenship by the Immigration Minister. And those people who became Australian citizens represented the first wave of migrants to this country. So the importance of citizenship isn't just a legal binding to the country. It's also an acknowledgement that those who come here have equal status as Australian citizens. And what's made our society, our multicultural society, the most successful in the world, and we often talk about that, <coughs> is the fact that we don't discriminate between people. Therefore, in recent times, the discussions and the attempts by government to make Australian citizenship more difficult to obtain is contradictory to what the whole purpose of Australian citizenship is, and that is to embrace our new migrants, to make sure that they are welcomed into our society, but more importantly, to make sure that they are equal amongst equals. So for those of you who are becoming Australian citizens today, it's a very special day, it's a very important event, it marks your commitment to Australia and to be part of our very cohesive multicultural community. You are the new wave of migrants. Just as 70 years ago, <coughs> migrants from Europe, who, who were the first wave of the uh, post-Second World War migration program, just as they came here to be members of, to, to nation build and to be the first Australians, or the new Australians rather, you now form the next wave of migrants and we welcome you. And we not only just say that uh, so that we can all feel good, we welcome you through citizenship. So it's very important to ensure that citizenship in this country is never compromised, is never politicised and is never used to create discrimination within our community. So on that note, I'd like to, ahead of you becoming Australian citizens, I'd like to congratulate you. I'd also like to very quickly congratulate our Citizen of the Year, Val Price, our Young Citizen of the Year, Stephanie Chalice, and the Community Event of the Year, the Summary Agricultural Show. These awards are important because they acknowledge the work that we do at a community level to uh, progress our community and to foster good relationships amongst our neighbours and our fellow uh, citizens. Can I also very quickly um, congratulate Drew Jessup on his, uh, or, on his order, uh, his honour today rather. Drew is a long serving citizen of the Hume community. And I know he's probably been a bit bashful, but it's, it's, it's a great award for you, Drew. Congratulations. And it's a recognition of the selfless work that you have put into our community. And on that note, uh, I'd like to thank you all and uh, happy Australia Day.